In this time of the COVID-19 crisis, deep consideration and focus is on sustainability, safety, and resilience. The paradigm for the general day-to-day -day activities have once again shifted and a new normal is a talk of the day. The CARICOM region is no different. The same factors affecting the rest of the world are seemingly multiplied for the, the developing states of this region with its heavy dependence on tourism and other service type activities that drives the economies today. Today, as we join the global community to celebrate World Accreditation Day under the theme, Accreditation Improving Food Safety, we are reminded of the many ways that food impacts our comorbidity and by extension, our general sustainability, as well as trade. Let's therefore take a closer look at the theme and the ways accreditation can and does improve food safety. Foodborne diseases are unfortunately a major concern for governments, even in our modernized food industry and the food trade. Food importers, therefore, have been making significant effort to eliminate or at least reduce the occurrence of food-related illnesses. Food safety impacts are recognized and manifested in most, if not all, aspects of society and are significantly represented in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, and in several national legislations. To give effect to the SDGs and the leg legislation for food safety, there are testing, inspection, and monitoring mechanisms that are put in place by governments and the private sector players throughout the entire food value chain. At the top of the quality infrastructure, accreditation is a mechanism developed to build trust in the results of testing laboratories as well as certification bodies and inspection bodies involved in ensuring quality and food safety. The role of accreditation is to verify or confirm the competencies of labs, certification bodies and inspection bodies, and the associated systems and quality professionals. If anything, this COVID-19 pandemic has taught us that it is not enough to just have a value chain that includes quality parameters and quality systems, but rather to raise the bar to in building resilience, trust and dynamism in the quality infrastructure we create. Regarding building resilience through accreditation, the current environment requires that accreditation must assist conformity assessment bodies to be prepared for unfortunate events. This ensures that all aspects of the value chain can be competently monitored, assessed for rigor and accountability, making sure that they are operating with the highest integrity, competence and standards, even in abnormal conditions of production. Here, accreditation leads to trust by the customer and the consumer, and in this, the CARICOM region, we are committed to the production and the distribution of safe food with the help of our regionally accredited labs, inspection bodies, and certification bodies, collectively called conformity assessment bodies, or CABs. Through the general sponsorship from organizations such as the Euro European Union, the Commonwealth Standards Network, and the Caribbean Development Bank, CROSCU has and is supporting and facilitating accreditation of conformity assessment bodies linked to the food chain. These interventions have assisted and are assisting food producers and suppliers to be more competitive in the global market, but more importantly, to ensure the farm-to-fork process is safe and consumption ready. Thank you very much and have a safe World Accreditation.